Alright guys, so I'm going to show you guys how to make GTA 5 runnable on your MacBook Pro. You see it? M1 processor. Let's access this game real quick. Doo -doo -doo, boop. Boop. Alright guys, so I'm at the screen, right? Oh, I'm just going to exit that real quick. Exit that. What you're going to want to do is you want to go to here, type in Insider, click here. All right, once you're here, you want to click here. Now, it's going to say, you know, uh, you can select the option, right? Um, and you're going to want to select the option. The Insider program already did it. Um, you're going to log into your account. You're going to, there's going to be a sliding thing right here. And then what you're gonna want to do is after you click slide that that lets you pick whatever you're gonna want to select dev dev channel. After that, after that you want to go to click the Windows Update. Once you get here, check for updates. Right, do whatever update. Check for updates. There's gonna be a preview down here. You want to download and install that. Make sure everything's up to date. And once everything's up to date, you get um dot net. Framework, um, DirectX, and then Visual C++, which is right here. Download all these. You want to download C, uh, UCRT, all the, uh, make sure it's 2005, all that. Get all those in the Steam. And then you'll be able to on your MacBook Pro. This is a 2020. I'll show you in a second. All right. So, as you can see, I have a macbook pro 13 inch m1 2020 8 gigabyte ram and the storage is 250 gigabytes but i'm also using a portable hard drive that's where my gta 5 is definitely um, recommend if you were going to play gta 5 my frame rates were low but i was also using a hard drive so if you're going to have external use a ssd but yeah, that's it, guys. I mean, it's pretty easy, and that's how you get done. I haven't seen any videos, so I'm making the video for you guys.